This video shows how to set up a percussive rhythm on the Surge TKB, the touch activated keyboard sequencer. This is how the rhythm sounds when it's set up. In this example the sound I've used is simple. It's not a fully developed imitation of a percussion sound. The rhythm is set up on row D, the bottom row of the sequencer and it uses 8 of the 16 steps available on the sequencer. This is row D. With each knob of the row we can set a value for each of the 8 beats that controls how loud the beat will sound from silent, i.e. off, to full volume. This means that we can place different amounts of emphasis on each beat rather like a MIDI velocity value. This is what it sounds like when all the beats are present. Then I can take some of them away and reduce the volume of some of them. Now I'll remove all the patch cords and start patching again so that you can see how the patch is built up. First of all, there's a chord from the red output of step 9 which is plugged into the input named reset. step 9 into reset. This is the chord that limits the length of the sequence to 8 steps. As soon as the sequencer reaches step 9 it immediately resets to step 1. Then there is a clock oscillator formed by taking one half of a dual transient generator and plugging its end input into the IN input. The END input, END output into the IN input. The END output is plugged into the sequencer CLOCK input. and each cycle causes the sequencer to advance a step. I've used the blue output of this same transient generator to envelope the sound at the VCA. The rise time together with the fall time of the transient generator provides the length of time between sequencer steps, i.e. the tempo. So this light, flashing light, indicates the tempo. There is one last thing to patch and that's the output from the D row which also goes into the VCA in order to control the overall volume of each step. It's that chord that allows us to have steps of different volumes.